So today I found out something really special about the DJI Osmo Action 4 and I'm gonna share this with you because this is a game changer. Let's go! So I actually had to go inside because there was a dog barking constantly. There's a dog barking. So action cameras typically come with two exposure modes. You have the auto mode where everything is adjusted by the camera automatically and you have the manual mode where you can adjust the shutter speed as well as the ISO. Alex is building Lego toys right over there. Hello Alex! Hello! Yeah, anyway, I apologize for the sound. Now with newer action cameras you can set the ISO range. So not just one ISO value but let's say from 100 to 800 and then the shutter speed is going to be adjusted automatically. But what the DJI Osmo Action 4 has is a very special hidden feature. Now if you go into your exposure and you choose the auto exposure and set for instance the ISO from 100 to 800 which is my recommended range for using the ISO on this camera. Maybe you can push it up to 1600 but it's going to get noisy very quickly even though it's a low light action camera. And then you can set your EV, your exposure value. So zero means the balance between highlights and shadows. If you put EV into the minus means that there's going to be more dark areas. So you're underexposing the shot and if you go into the plus you're overexposing the shot but whichever setting you set you can see that the shutter speed is changing accordingly. Now that's not a big issue but with action cameras it actually kind of is. If you set your shutter speed to low for instance anything lower than one hundredth of a second it's going to result in very blurry and mushy images because the stabilizer on these action cameras requires every frame to be sharp and not motion blurry. This way it can stitch images together and give you a nice you know, well balanced rock steady looking footage. But if the shutter speed is too slow then every image has a little bit of motion blur which means that the camera is having trouble figuring out how to stitch the images together. So therefore a one hundredth of a second lower cap for the shutter speed is kind of a necessary thing and you can actually set this on the Osmo Action. Well if you tap on the shutter speed button right there on the top left you actually switch from exposure value to shutter speed and this is where you can set the range just like with the ISO. So you can set the shutter speed range going from that one one hundredth of a second all the way to one eight thousandth of a second and now you will always have auto exposure and never have the shutter speed go lower than one hundredth of a second. Now of course if you want to get that cinematic motion blur then you need to set your shutter speed to that one fiftieth of a second but that's only useful for the camera which is stationary where the rock steady stabilizer has no job to do. But whenever you start moving the camera around I would strongly suggest one one hundredth of a second or faster. So now even if you're auto exposing you can set the limit to your ISO going from 100 to 800 which is you know, my recommendation and you can set your shutter speed to go from one one hundredth of a second to all the way to eight thousandths of a second. And this way the camera is always going to give you the best image. Now if it gets really dark, well it gets really dark. There's no, no work around it. You don't want to set your shutter speed too slow and you don't want to raise the ISO too high. Maybe ISO 1600, 3200 is already pushing it. And you'll definitely need to do some denoising in post-production. And there you have it. So what are the best settings that you can set this camera to? Well choose the high efficiency video encoding codec. This is going to give you the highest bitrate and the smallest file size. Then choose D-Log M which is going to make your videos 10-bit. Of course that requires a little bit of post-production work. Now you can find the LUT which transforms the D-Log M into regular Rec. 709 footage. You can find that down in the description and it's the official lot which you can also find on DJI's website. And if you set your exposure to auto and limit the ISO from 100 to 800, shutter speed from 1 100 to 8000, well then you have everything that you need. I'm also always shooting this with 25 frames per second because we live in Europe and our lights vibrate at 50 hertz so that's twice the 25. This is why you know all the lights are not vibrating. And for those slow motion shots remember always make your shutter speed twice as fast as the frame rate. So if you're shooting with 100 frames per second then the minimum shutter speed should be one two hundredths of a second for 
25 frames per second, the minimum shutter speed should be 1 50th, but you should set it at least 1 100th because of that image stabilization. So anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. In any case, hit the like button because it really helps a content creator and the channel to grow and I'll, I'll see you in one of well, these two videos. So make sure you stick around. Thank you and goodbye.